So you've seen my reviews on the Yamazaki, the Keyway Superlight, the Zontes G and U series motorcycles. Today I've got something really, really impressive to show you. The ultimate in design, speed, power, ergonomics, and the future of mobility. Nah, I'm just kidding. Right, welcome to Ride and Reviews. Today we're going to be having a look at my mobility scooter. Now, I do not need it. It is just a piece of fun. This is Mark 1, as you can see, not as refined. Um, this one still works, uh, but I had to use the batteries for that one on this one. As you can see on my GPS, I got 30 miles an hour out of it. Obviously, that was on private roads. But anyway, let's have a look around. It has uh, lights on the front, it has lights on the back, and they are controlled by a different battery with a switch off the front. Um, they have got four 1865 cells in them. There is the switch. Lights. Now with all, all of my projects, everything that I do, I always use just stuff that I have lying about. Usually I do not buy anything unless it's something small. This one I had to buy some sprockets for, um, just because I didn't have them lying about. I repair a lot of different things. Everything that I can't repair, I'll strip and just use it for bits. So this one is made up of a mobility scooter, obviously. The mobility scooter, the engine went, or the motor went, the controller went, and the batteries went. Um, the motor off of this one is off of one of those uh, stand-on ride about scooters, 1600 watt, and the controller is also off of that, and so is the handlebars, and the batteries are off of a on-road scooter, so something that will do 40 miles or so. So anyway, we'll take the seat off. So I did notice with this one, obviously I'm using old batteries and one of them did go down. So you're not really supposed to mix and match batteries, but as I said, this is something that I do with spare pits. So lithium, 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 all 100 amp power each. And then we've got one lead acid. That's the controller off of um, the scooter. There's the sprockets aboard. And that is uh, the motor off of it as well. This uh, drive shaft and the wheels and that are off of a go-kart. Disc brakes are off the go-kart also. And the line up to here, that's off of a motorbike for the, the brake lever. So yeah, it's just all a little bit of fun. So there will be a ride round video on this um, the maximum amount of speed i've ever had out of this on a gps on private land is 30 miles an hour so yeah it's just a, it's just a good old piece of fun if it breaks who cares and give me something to do repair it um, it's also a good thing for with this sort of thing to practice your welding practice in your wiring and all that sort of stuff if it breaks it's not really going to hurt anyone is it power might hurt someone but just be careful. <clears throat> All I want you to take away from this video is if you have stuff like this laying about, mobility scooter, like a, a, mobi nah, a mobility scooter like this um, is usually 24 volt. If you put 48 volt directly into the motor, it'll do double the speed. So there you have an instant go-kart. So there's no point in chucking some of this stuff away. Um, You'll find sometimes that it gets stood about for six months to a year just doing nothing until you think, I can do something with that. Same with anything, all electronics, anything, um, old laptops, all that sort of thing. Give it a go. You may find that you can fix it really easily. One of the first things that I ever fixed was a TV, a flat screen TV. Now, 
the company that I got it off was chucking it in the bin. I said, can I have it? They said, yeah. They paid originally for that TV four and a half thousand pounds. When I uh, took it home, took it apart, had a look at the board at the back, I found out that the bit that was broke was actually two pound. So I got that TV that was worth five thousand pounds for two pounds. And it's just because I Googled stuff and, and figured it out. I've, I've never had any, any training with this sort of thing. Um, I just figured it out. You can do the same. That will bring me onto a video in the future where I actually want to have a discussion with you guys in regards to qualifications versus experience. Which one do you think is more important? But that's a video for next time. Where I won't forget this Why do I regret this? In my mind reckless Thoughts are feeling endless Sitting up I'm breathless Anxiety's infectious I feel so defenseless Betrayed and embarrassed I hate being open I hate being broken I feel like an ocean Filled up with emotion Anger ain't a potion Rub it on like lotion I can feel it soaking Reopen the scars have awoken I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go I can't move on till I let go I feel so lost, never at home Need to be strong, every breath hold Cause I can't move on till I let go
they wanna say they hate, but they know it's cap. I ain't play no games, I just do that's fact, and I don't feel no shame. It's a mood you lack, I go crazy. Nah, bitch, I ain't lazy. Track up the track, I work on the shit daily. Pass me the jack, right as fuel got me hazy. About to unpack all these things I've been chasing. I've got visions in my head, like memories after death. To be a legend instead of something you can forget. I'm Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, and remember this is just a bit of fun. If the wire in Lug's pants, who cares? If the world in Lug's pants, who cares? It's a bit of fun, what does it matter? I'm not exactly going to sell it for thousands of pounds, so who cares? Subscribe to my channel if you like this video, hit the thumbs up, comment below if you want to do a project yourself and tell me what it is, and maybe I can help. But as always, right up.